Hi, everybody. Um, I just got done running. I'm still in my running clothes. I'm actually sweaty. Uh, but I wanted to get this short, short tutorial done for you. This footage is of my wife. My wife is very kind to indulge me in moments like this. Let's select a tracker and let's hit five and stabilize the whole shot around the tracker. Yeah, there we go. So it looks pretty good. Sometimes when I'm tracking, I, I'm a big fan of the simul track window. So let's pull that up and it's under window floating simul track. And so you can see here, we have all of our keyframes represented in this strip of thumbnails. I love this and I hate it. I love it mostly, but the one thing I hate about it, the thing I primarily hate about it, is that these thumbnails are so small. And as my monitors over my career have gotten bigger and bigger and bigger and higher and higher resolution, these thumbnails just get to like, it's really difficult. So. I'm, I'm looking at the screen. I look at this upper left window and that's, that's pretty big. Like I can see that. I can clearly see what I'm tracking there. And I can use the ASDF keys on that tracker to skip forward and look and compare and see if my, just, just holding down the F key or holding down the A key. I can see how well I've stabilized the pattern within that bigger window. And I can see it wobbling around a little bit in there. I suggest using the suggestion button. And so let's pull that up. Let's do a little quick search for Simultrack. S-I-M-U-L-T-R-A-C-K. And hey, look, there are four hits on this page. Just in the middle of last month, I wrote bigger thumbnails in floating Simultrack window. So I'm asking for these little thumbnails to be bigger. So let's go to the next one. Simultrack crosshairs only, or crosshairs slash only center point. So I do want to be able to turn these crosshairs off and I do want to only see a center point. I don't, I want to have that option. I would love to be able to turn off the tracker names. I'd love to be able to turn off the crosshairs. I, I just want to see the image. Should be an option. Anyway, it's not, so we're going to live with it, but Let's go back over here. So that was my second, that was my suggestion that I made. When did I make that suggestion? I made that suggestion in 2018. Let's go down to the next one. Hey, bigger simultrack thumbnail option. I made that suggestion in 2016. So this isn't the new thing for me, but let's go back up to the top. Bigger thumbnails and floating simultrack window. So let's view that view. And uh, I said, I've actually requested this before, but I think enough time has passed. It is now worth repeating. I don't know how to make the sign window thumbnails as big as the main UI upper left tracker window. It's fine if it defaults to the small thumbnails, but right click And carp and anchovies and orangutans and breakfast cereals and fruit bats and large- Skip a bit, brother. Anyway, Russ wrote back, he said, tile size is set in the simul track preferences it's in the simul track preferences wait what how did i miss this i have used synthize since before synthize existed uh since before it was released to the market i have used synthize since the very beginning and i often am very guilty of not thoroughly reading the new release notes and this is on me. But let's go into the preferences, synthize preferences. I'm going to, in this search box here, just type simultrack, S-I-M-U-L-T-R-A-C-K. And you're gonna know, it's like, well, none of this has to do with this, what the simultrack. I mean, it might vaguely, but there's something about this search term that brings this window up. But if you just keep tapping search, you'll eventually get here to, it's under the appearance menu, uh, under Simultrack. And Simultrack tile width is 96 by 96. That's the default. So now I can change it. I'm so happy. So let's make the tile width, let's, let's double it. Um, so we'll say 200. Yeah, that's good. It's a little bigger than, than twice as big. 
So, okay. Oh, <laughs> let's try that again. Synthize preferences. I didn't know you could even do that. I thought those were locked. That's kind of cool, but it's not that cool. <laughs> but it's kind of cool. So let's make it 200 by 200 and hit OK and close this. Um, window, floating simul track. Oh, these are now actually bigger than that window up there. This is amazing. Uh, the only thing I want now is just to be able to turn off this, this crosshair deal, but I'll live with this because this is great. This is a game changer for me. Now, the thing about the simul track window that's very cool is that, you know how you can go up here in this window while you're tracking, let's drag this, let's hit five and drag that down a little bit. Uh, while you're tracking, you know you can just grab, click in this window and drag around if your tracker is unlocked. Let's unlock the tracker. So you can click in this window and drag around, and that's how you can reposition your tracker. And you'll notice also in the simul track window, you can see that image move around, just like you can see it in the upper left-hand tracking preview window. So that's pretty cool. But I can also click right in the simul track window, and I can reposition there. But not only can I reposition that frame there, I can look for other frames. And basically, I have tracked this so that the pattern, I'm, I'm tracking the outside of my wife's eyeliner. Now I can look and say, well, this one, yeah, that one looks pretty good. This one looks pretty good. This one looks pretty good. And I can reposition all of these right in the simul track window. So when I see things that are like, you know what, I could probably scooch this one over a little bit and compare these two. Yeah, that looks probably pretty good. That one, nudge it around. I can, so I can do all of this nudging right in the simul track window. Let's move that over a little, that over just a bit, that over. So when you do this, after you've nudged them all over, go back to the beginning with your tracker unlocked and just tap the space bar and let it rock and roll. Because I have key smooth set to four frames and my key now is set to four frames. So it's gonna smooth out all of those adjustments that I just made. Pretty great, super cool. Yeah, and as you hit play, you can watch the frame you're on uh, that simul track thumbnail will have a highlight around it. So just keep your eye on it. You can just watch as it moves across. Super cool. I love this. Like I said, it's a game changer for me. It's something I've been asking for for literally years. And it was given to me a long time ago. And I ungratefully asked for it again. <laughs> but, but here it is. We all have it. Uh, super excited. Um, I'll, I'll be getting m another tutorial to you super fast, I hope, and uh, as soon as the movers arrive. So keep your fingers crossed for the movers arriving to bring my stuff so that I can make better tutorials. <laughs>